Hey pharmacist, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into a pretty significant update in the treatment of depression that could be life-changing for some patients. The FDA's approval of a ketamine-based nasal spray, Spravato, as a standalone therapy for treatment-resistant depression. Now let me break this down in simple terms. What is Spravato? Spravato is a nasal spray that has the active ingredient S-ketamine which is a non-competitive NMDA receptor blocker. In the U.S., it was initially approved in 2019, but could only be used alongside traditional oral antidepressants. Recently, the FDA made a significant decision. After reviewing over 31 clinical trials, including a recent phase 4 study, they've approved Spravato as a standalone therapy. That means it's now the first and only nasal spray of its kind available on its own for treatment-resistant depression in the U.S. Who is eligible? Spravato is indicated for adults for the treatment of treatment-resistant depression as monotherapy or with other oral antidepressants. And depressive symptoms with major depressive disorder with acute suicidal ideation or behavior in conjunction with an oral antidepressant. To put it in perspective, about one third of patients with depression don't find relief from oral antidepressants alone. This spray offers an option that works differently and more quickly than traditional therapies. How does it work? Here's the science. Most antidepressants target serotonin, dopamine, or norepinephrine, which are brain chemicals tied to mood. Spravato, on the other hand, works on glutamate, the brain's most abundant chemical messenger. This different pathway might explain why some patients see rapid improvement, sometimes as quickly as 24 hours after their first dose. How is it administered? The spray is administered in certified treatment centers under professional supervision due to its potential side effects and risk of misuse. It's given intranasally twice a week for four weeks and then once every one to two weeks. Side effects include sleepiness, dizziness, breathing problems, or feelings of disconnection, which tend to peak at 40 minutes after administration and fade after about two hours. The spray may also impair judgment, thinking, reaction speed, and motor skills, which means patients should not operate machinery until the following day. Why this matters. This is the first new medication for major depression approved in decades. This approval gives healthcare professionals more flexibility to personalize treatment for patients in need. However, we are still in the early stages and have a long way to go as we continue to learn more about this type of medication. Final thoughts. Tre Treatment-resistant depression is incredibly complex. Medications like Spravato provide us with another option for those who have struggled to find relief. I hope you find this update helpful. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye, pharmacists. Thank <laughs> you.